Hi everybody, happy Friday to you, or possibly Saturday or Sunday. Who knows? I'm not quite sure when I'm going to get this edited and up. It's technically Thursday when I'm recording this, but I work tonight, so um, by the time I get home tomorrow morning, I just might go to sleep and not edit it first, so if that happens, I'm sorry, I'm sleeping. Um, but I'll, um, nonetheless, whatever day you see this, I hope it's a great day, what I'm trying to say. So I have some favorites, and I have a fail that just kind of disappointed me. Um, and I don't have a ton of favorites. I have five things to show you guys, but they're like things that I love to death. Like, they're just amazing. Okay, so first thing I want to talk about. I've been really into lips lately. Like, I'm usually just like really low maintenance when it comes to my lips. Like, slap on like a tinted lip balm or just a chapstick and call it good to go. But I've been loving colored lips, and I've been loving lipstick lately. Um, so two I've been loving. They're both from Tarte. This one I wore in a couple of my last videos, and a lot of you really liked the makeup look I had going on. It was kind of like a, a pin-up classic look, which I will do a tutorial on um, soon for you guys. So stay tuned. That's coming up. But the one I was wearing is the color Fierce, and this is hands down my favorite red color of life. It's just like the perfect brightest true red it's just beautiful and I love it so much it's just so perfect it's it's my favorite red there's no other red that surpasses this and I just love the formula of this these are the Tarte Glamazon pure performance lipsticks they are super pigmented saturated in color however they are so smooth they glide on so nicely, they're moisturizing, they don't dry my lips out, they just provide beautiful color, pigmentation, hydration, and just an all-around phenomenal lipstick. I really hope that Tarte comes out with some more colors in these because I would definitely, definitely want to pick up some more because I just truly, truly, truly love these. The other one is my favorite that I have on now. It's more of a coral, um, corally orangey pink. <laughs> maybe I think it's more of a coral and this is the color called bold and there it is right there so it's kind of like a pinky coral color and it's just really good uh, it's just really nice and pigmented looks lovely on the lips I don't have anything else on just this and they just glide on smoothly they last a really long time I get about I say like six hours of wear with this because they're just really long lasting and pigmented and then uh, they're kind of, they're so saturated in color that they even stain your lips a little bit. So even as it starts to wear off, you know, five, six hour mark, it still looks nice and, because your lips are like tinted, stained, faded. What am I trying to say? Because your lips are still kind of like stained. Love. I love them so much. I seriously, come on Tarte, come out with some more colors. I want like a really dark, deep red in these. That would be phenomenal. Another favorite, this has been a favorite for a while, but I get a lot of questions about what nail polish um, top coat I use, and it's this one. Um, this is the Julep Freedom Polymer, Polymer, Freedom Polymer, Polymer Top Coat, what? <laughs> but that's what it is. It looks like this, it comes in a black bottle, um, and it's just really really nice. What I love about this is it dries your nails completely in five minutes. Um, it dries to the touch in 60 seconds like most fast dry top coats. But this is even this is like 10 times better than Seshvi. It's better than out the door. It's better than any other top coat I've ever tried. Um, it just has a really nice great size brush. So it just takes like two swipes to get across your entire nail. And the formula is just so glossy and shiny. It makes your nails so shiny. I have it on. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but I have it on. And I always get compliments on my nails being so shiny whenever I use this top coat. It doesn't have any tip shrinkage at the top. Which some fast dry top coats do. Like once you put it on then it just like kind of shrinks up as it dries. This does not have this. This prolongs my nail life. It keeps it from chipping. It keeps it super shiny and beautiful looking. And I love it so much. I have... I think I'm almost out of this one. I already have a backup because I do not want to be without it. It's totally my holy grail fast dry top coat. I couldn't imagine doing my nails without that. Alright, another favorite. I, 
when I first bought this, I liked it and I didn't use it as much, but I now use this every single day. I cannot go without using this concealer. This is from NYX and it's the Photogenic Concealer in the color Yellow. And what I use this for is to brighten up my under eyes. So this is the first step. I just put, I just um, dab on a couple dots underneath my eye like that. You know, pretend that's an eyeball there. <laughs> and I just blend it out with my beauty blender. And the yellow just really helps to counteract the darkness and just kind of brighten it up. Kind of colors correct it. It color corrects so I could put on my concealer over top. So it's just a really nice um, pigmented concealer and it's really, it doesn't crease and it just blends in beautifully. I don't have any problems with it whatsoever. And I think it was like only $4.99, something like a really good price. So I really love that. Okay, last favorite. Um, if you watched my haul, I was really excited to try this. This is Schwing. <laughs> that name kills me. Schwing Black Liquid Eyeliner um, from The Balm. And it's a liquid eyeliner, as you can imagine, in the color black. But this is just such a beautiful eyeliner. It lasts all day long. The point or the felt tip of this is just so tiny and precise. And it just it goes on nice and black. You can make you know, <laughs> that was a weird swatch, but like, I like it because you can make such fine little lines and it's so tiny you can get really close to the base of your eyelashes without any problem. Like, it just makes putting on eyeliner a dream. I love this, love this, love this. It just, it's beautiful and I love, okay, do you ever have those eyeliners where like, you keep going over to try and fill in the areas, but then like, if you go over it, like, it takes it away. You can go over this multiple, multiple times and it doesn't like start to smudge off, like off, take away any of the product. It just, it's, it's beautiful. I just love that I can get so close and precise to my lash line and just, I could take my time and fill in without worrying about any product smudging off, flaking off, rubbing away. It just is an awesome eyeliner. I am so in love with it. I'm so happy I got this. It's really good, guys. All right, now on to my fail. Now this... This is just a nail polish that I just did not like the formula of, and I love Julep nail polish. I just raved about their top coat. But this formula and this color just does not apply nicely. I have it on, so I mean, it looks nice. <laughs> this is the color called Gloria, and it's just a nice coral color. The problem with this is that the formula is really thick and goopy and hard to apply and streaky, and just, it was a very horrible application. I was not impressed. So that happens with any nail polish line. There's always a dud somewhere in it, and this happened to be mine. So, love the color, did not like the application. Alright, so that is my Friday favorites and fails. I hope you guys had a great week and have a fabulous weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hurt you guys all. Bye, everybody.